Hi everyone! We wanted to show you our homeschool space today. I love seeing people's homeschool rooms and so I thought I would share ours with you. Um, and some of our favorite things that we have that we're using for homeschooling right now and for playing and how we organize our stuff and some books that we really like. So this is real life right now. It is 11 o'clock and I still have one child in PJs. <laughs> okay, so over here we've got our school books. This is our library book basket. Normally it's much more full, but we just returned a bunch of books. And here's our schoolwork that we're gonna do today. And I am a candle hoarder, and these, I don't like those on the windowsill, I promise. I just don't know what to do with all my candles. And I keep my watering can here, because if I don't, my plants will die, because I will forget to water them. Okay, so here is what is in our homeschool shelf. On this shelf, I don't really have the books organized in any kind of way. We have textbooks down here. Let's see, our textbooks are, a lot of this is Calvert. So we've got science, um, the math. Miquan math is for Austin, I'm doing that with her. Um, and then just some little workbooks because Austin really loves workbooks. We've got some math manipulatives. You love math? Yeah. That's good. Um, River is just at the level where he's able to read the little house books, which I am so excited because these still, to this day, I love Little House on the Prairie. And then over here, I've got some toys for Chase. Some quote-unquote educational toys. I've got paper here, construction paper. This is kind of a mess. I need to go through this and reorganize it. Here is our, a lot of my teacher manuals because they're kind of floppy and they fall down if I put them in the shelves. These are also from the Calvert curriculum through PA Cyber. And then in here, I have all of our school things. So one's place and ten's place. These are awesome. Uh, these are write-on erasable flashcards. And Austin loves to write on them. With River, I just do drills. This is a game. I haven't played the actual game yet, but we've used the fossils. We've looked at them and, and studied them. Go-togethers, so like bike and helmet. I was given these as a gift for the kids um, when Chase was born to keep them entertained. Just things like that. Ruler, flashcards, little magnifying glass in there somewhere. That's where we keep our Cuisinart rods as well. So just some more living books over here and some fun educational books here. Oh yeah, and hiding over here, I've got a little whiteboard. I just find whiteboards easier to use and less wasteful than paper and pencils. I have these little $3 buckets from Target. There's tape and glue. We are running out of glue. Scissors, stuff that I don't want the kids to get on their own. In this little corner here, I have easy to grab pencils and erasers and our memory verse that we are currently working on. And then over here is my hutch that I inherited from my grandma. And I keep fruit here because our kitchen is teeny tiny and we don't have enough room. Oh my. <laughs> okay, here I've got just more, you know, mommy stuff. Sticky notes, thumbtacks, dry erase stuff. This is my drawer. This is my notebooks, my fancy planner that I love. Look how pretty. Isn't it pretty? This is from Plum Pages, and that's my stickers. Yes, it is indeed, I am a child. I like stickers and tape, what can I say? No, this is mama stuff. No, you can't color with that, it's mommy's. Thank you, sweet girl. Show me what's in here. Can you open it for me? We've got little baby puzzles and bigger puzzles for the kids, shapes. Let's see, colors. Um, yeah, you want the colors one? You want the fishies? Uh -huh. okay. And I don't know, I'm amazed all the time that we have all the pieces to our puzzles, except one which we just lost like a couple days ago. I think it's under the couch. But I've had some of these puzzles since River was a teeny tiny baby. This, oh my goodness, okay. I love this so much. I lucked out and found this at a Goodwill. I'm struggling to open this with one hand. What do I do? 
Okay, there we go. I can do it. Um, they're just really, really cute pictures of children from other cultures and other countries. And of course, Chase has chewed a few. Aren't they cute? Oh, they're so cute. I just There's love them. I, I can't believe I found this at Goodwill. And then my sister gave us this game. Okay. It's like I have a newborn again. I gotta do everything one-handed. You can see pretty much what to do on the cover. Silly sentences. And this is, I, okay. I love grammar and like everything that has to do with words and reading and I just think grammar is so interesting. Oh my gosh, I would have loved this as a kid. Floor puzzles, also looking to get more of these because my kids have done these like dozens of times. And then we've got Play-Doh and a giant tub of crayons that my aunt found at a garage sale and gave to us. We will never again have to buy crayons, I'm pretty sure. Okay, here is my not so great solution for paper products. Coloring books, notebooks, I don't know what to do about all of this stuff. And some of this is artwork that they've already done. I need to go through this and organize it. But um, a couple days ago, this stuff was just thrown in here. This cabinet was a mess and I still haven't come up with a solution. I'm thinking of getting the kids binders to keep their favorite artwork in. Um, but this is what we have for now and it's not the most efficient or user friendly. I really need to figure something out. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm not even kidding, I found the missing puzzle piece. <laughs> it was just sitting there. I have no idea where it was. It wasn't there, like, it's been missing for three days, but I just found it. That is funny. Eventually, I want to get a basket to put up here to keep stuff for Chase that um, she can only play with during school hours. Oh yeah, and right here, I've got more mommy things that the kids are not allowed to get into. I love washi tape. I know, I'm five, but I use it in my planner and it's just such a fun, easy way of making planners and even like letters and gifts just look really cute. I've also got these uh, markers from Ikea. It was $2 for a package and they are very washable. Oh, and then I've got um, over here, <laughs> whoops, I've got kind of a routine going. I don't really know how this is gonna work. Um, I have to figure out what we're gonna do next year. And this is what the room looks like when it is all cleaned up and we are done with school. Thanks for watching. And I guess, what do vloggers say? Do they say? Oh. Oh. Don't forget Honk. to subscribe down below. Subscribe Bye. down below. Bye. <laughs> Bye. And leave a comment if you have any questions. <laughs> Not that I'm like an expert at anything. Hope we get a thousand yeah. hundred likes. I doubt that will happen, but would be nice. All right, bye guys.